Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about emotionally immature people, specifically how to spot them and how to deal with them. So how do you spot emotionally immature people? Well, for the most part, emotionally mature people are basically those who haven't learned how to deal with their emotions in a healthy manner. So they're going to come off like someone who just can't quite control their emotions. In a word, they'll come off childlike. So if somebody is very impulsive and ungrounded and somewhat selfish, almost to the point where you would think they're narcissistic, but sometimes they're not. <laughs> well, that could be someone who's emotionally mature. If they basically have an emotion that they feel and they immediately act on it, that's probably a good sign that they're emotionally mature because healthy adults are going to feel emotions, but they're not going to immediately act on them because we'll, we know better than that. But for whatever reason, emotionally mature people haven't quite learned that or they just lack the capacity to act or not act on their emotions. So they'll often feel something and then go immediately from that stimulus to response. So whenever you see people being very impulsive and childlike and basically getting frustrated super easily and then acting on that frustration and that sort of thing, that's probably an emotionally immature person that you're dealing with. So for the most part, you just want to avoid these people because they're not really worth your time. I mean, the fact that they're childlike is a bad sign. You, you, don't, you, you wouldn't even want to be friends with someone like this, let alone actually enter into a relationship with someone like this. So if you catch signs that somebody lacks that capacity to deal with their emotions in a healthy or almost healthy way. I mean, nobody's perfect. So, I mean, most people probably aren't capable of dealing with their emotions in a healthy way. So trying to find someone who's like that will probably take you some time. But for the most part, most people, even if they don't deal with their emotions in a fully healthy way, at least they'll deal with them in a more normal way. Because <laughs> emotionally immature people are not normal in that regard. They're, just the fact that they're super impulsive is a bad sign. That's not the way people normally are. Most adults are capable to some extent of not immediately acting on their emotions. Even if they display signs of feeling those emotions, like feeling angry, they're not going to immediately act on it and lash out at you or start saying mean things to you. I mean, some people will, but for the most part, most adults have learned to control their emotions to some extent. That's not the case at all with emotionally mature people. So they're the type to create a lot of drama, to create a scene in public, and basically make you deal with a bunch of crap that you shouldn't otherwise have to deal with. Emotionally mature people are very chaotic and unpredictable. And with that, you don't want to be around them because they can even, in some extreme cases, be dangerous. I mean, think about that. Emotions are very powerful things, right? We all know that. We all know that when you're basically under the influence of heavy emotions or strong emotions, that you can do some very dangerous things. You could potentially harm others. But most adults are capable of handling those emotions without acting on them. Not quite the case with emotionally mature people, as I've already said. So that makes them dangerous. You do not want to have these people around you because if they ever basically experience some really strong heavier emotions, negative emotions, should I say, you don't want to be around them when they're feeling that because they're not going to be able to control it. But I am kind of showing emotionally mature people to be more incapable of handling their emotions and kind of just acting on them immediately. But there are some cases where they'll be emotionally mature in that they'll suppress their emotions and not always just immediately act on them. So that could be another sign of someone being emotionally mature where they just kind of, it's like they never want to deal with their emotions at all. So they just shove it all down and act like everything's fine and dandy when it truly isn't. But that's probably a bit more rare, but it does exist. So I, I wanted to mention that as well. So how do you deal with emotionally mature people? Well, you could probably see where I'm going with this, but uh, for the most part, avoid them like the plague, <laughs> for real. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time or energy. These aren't people you should have as friends and they're not people you should have in romantic relationships either. But if you have to deal with them because say it's a family member or a coworker, then have healthy boundaries with them. Let them know what behavior you won't tolerate. And if they start becoming 
antagonistic or anything like that, leave the situation, get the heck away from them. I mean, as much as possible, you want to limit your time around these people because they're just chaotic and unpredictable. You don't need to deal with people like that. It's kind of like when soldiers are on the battlefield and they're dealing with a coward among their own ranks. Cowards are dangerous people because they're unpredictable. You never know if they're going to turn against you and help the enemy because they think the enemy is going to overpower you, so they want to increase their odds of living by helping the enemy. Cowards are unpredictable, which makes them dangerous. So, emotionally mature people are pretty much the same. I know that was an extreme example, but that's just kind of the way my brain works, and I was thinking of that analogy for whatever reason, but it makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense to you. So, you just don't want to be around these people. You don't want to be around anyone who's unpredictable. You don't need to deal with that drama, and you don't need to deal with the rare possibility of them actually doing something life-threatening. So, just limit your time around them as much as possible, and Get the heck away from me. You want to go around healthy adults or people who are at least normal or on the path to becoming healthier. You don't need to deal with emotionally mature people. Protect your inner peace at all costs. But anyway, I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!